Nervos is an interoperability project. It aims at being the central layer that connects all blockchain together. In this video, I will explain what is Nervos and how you can build on it. If you are new here, I'm Julian and on Eat the Blocks, I teach blockchain development. The native coin of Servos is CKB. It is used to pay for transaction fees and to store data on Nervos. It's the 147th largest coin with a market cap of 828 million. It has a total supply of 34 billion CKB. It's possible to stake your CKB in the CKB DAO and receive some yield. CKB has a multi-chain architecture. It has a layer 1 blockchain for decentralization and security and multiple layer 2 chains for scalability and flexibility. The layer 1, also called common knowledge base or just CKB, has a proof of work consensus and a UTXO data structure like Bitcoin. It also has a virtual machine to offer smart contract capabilities. One of the layer 2 chains of Nervos is Godwoken, an EVM blockchain. Nervos also has a bridge to move assets between Nervos and many other blockchains like Ethereum. To create a dApp on Nervos, you can either build on Nervos L1 or on an L2 chain. To get started, the easiest is to build on Godwoken, the EVM compatible L2 chain of Nervos. For development, you can use Agron, the public testnet of Nervos. You will need to run a CKB node and a CKB indexer for Nervos L1. To synchronize faster with the network, you can download the historical blockchain data. Then for the L2 chain, you will need to run a Godwoken node. To communicate with your Godwoken node, you will use a modified version of Web3 called Polyjuice Provider slash Web3. For writing smart contracts, since Godwoken is EVM compatible, you can use Solidity and Truffle. And for the wallet, you can use MetaMask Configure for Godwoken. Even though Nervos is still at an early stage, it already has more than 10 projects covering both DeFi and NFTs. For example, there is Yokai Swap, a decentralized exchange, or Collect Me, an NFT project. If you want to build your own project on Nervos, you can go apply for a grant on the website of Nervos. So that's it for this short introduction to Nervos. In conclusion, I think Nervos has an original technical approach, and since we are still at an early stage of its development, if you build your own project on Nervos, it will be easier to stand out. If you want to get more info on Nervos, go to the website, I put the link in the description. That's it for today, bye!